Let's say you started off a sketch in a different drawing program and you just like how you can draw the line in that other program or you're just more used to that other program and then you want to bring that into Blender. I'll be showing you some issues that might come up when you translate that into Grease Pencil and a couple solutions that will help keep the integrity of your line while still keeping it editable and manageable later on. First, right click your image and use this feature called Trace Image to Grease Pencil. This will work on black and white images that you import into your scene. Radius will determine the width of the stroke while color threshold will determine how the transparency is translated from the white part of your image. Click OK and the new Grease Pencil object should be behind the image that you imported. Simply click and drag over the new Grease Pencil object. For this sketch specifically, there are all these unwanted black fills all over the place. If I don't address it now, it'll affect my design later on when I start applying modifiers to the sketch. One way to address this is using a Grease Pencil modifier known as Simplify. Using a modifier in this case is helpful because we can preview the effect before we choose to apply it. By selecting the value for the factor input, we can find a sweet spot where the black fills are not an issue anymore. Adaptive mode was sufficient enough for me, but you can try your hand at the other different modes and see if that works better in your favor. At a smaller length, it looks like sample tends to create these triangular fills, which is unwanted. But if you decrease the length small enough, it looks like it gets rid of them. There is another mode called fixed, but when I tried using it, and increasing the iterations, it still kept this black fill, so I just avoided using it and would stick to probably using adaptive or sample. I'm gonna go ahead and apply this modifier so you can see the difference from the original grease pencil object to this modified one. If we go into the edit mode and select part of our drawing, you can clearly see that the topology is a lot smaller, which means it's better for when you start processing stuff in your computer while we take a look at the vertexes for this drawing, you can see that there is a lot more points where this grid and drawing is in the lower half, so that would cause some maybe performance issues later down the line. It's always better to optimize topology early on so that when you get into rendering, you don't slow down your computer during the render process and it's a lot more efficient and faster. That way you can keep iterating faster. Now if I add a modifier like noise, you can see that the black fills aren't an issue anymore. Now if we wanted to orient our drawing towards our render or camera, we can do that using a modifier called Copy Transform. And under the target field, using Eye Picker to select where you want your locations for your drawing to be copied from. In this situation, I track to the camera so that the rotation of the drawing faces the camera itself. In my workflow, I tend to parent my grease pencil object to my camera so that when I move it around, it follows where the camera is moving. You'll notice my Blender Grease Pencil is clipping into this background set that I built out. So one thing I can do is just apply the transform modifier I have here and manually move the drawing closer to the camera. I'm just going to physically move it in the object world and scale it down so that it's closer to the camera's front view. As you'll notice, it's no longer clipping into the background. I'll apply another modifier called Track 2 so that when I move my camera, the drawing should follow along with it. Track 2 is useful for me because I'm using this drawing as a way to block in some of the visual elements that I need for my illustration. Now when the perspective of the camera moves around on this 3D set, the drawing should orient with it, just like a POV. I'll notice that this illustration's grid is indicating a wider angle lens, so one thing I can do is click into my camera and adjust the focal length to match that kind of wider perspective. Now past Blender 4.2, under Image, there's a feature that allows you to insert 2D animated loops from other programs into Blender, making the process a lot easier. In this situation, I'm bringing over a .move file that was done in a different program. Just like in the sketch, I'm having an issue where the area that should be transparent is showing up as black, so I'm doing this thing where I'm adjusting the material of the mesh plane itself. When you click into this mesh plane under material, you'll see that it has an image texture connected to the principal PSDF. The image texture node has the animated information for your loop, and what you can do to affect the transparency is include this color ramp in between that image texture node and the alpha input socket to filter out the black part out of that animation. Now that there's a material associated with this animation, it's going to dull out your colors. So one thing you can do is connect the output of your image textures animation and put that directly into the emission of your principal BSDF. That way you can increase the brightness by sliding the slider at the bottom here. That should allow you to adjust the color to how the original animation was designed in the other program. 
Inputting the animation through the mesh plane feature also allows you to adjust the timing through the image texture node, which can be super helpful when retiming your animation on a broader scale. The animation that was given to me was moving a little too fast, so this is a way for me to slow it down a bit. As Blender develops, there's new features that currently get added in or revamped, and these set of features seem pretty interesting as a way to include 2D animated stuff into your 3D workflow. Whether that be a sketch or a full animation, there's a lot of possibilities that this workflow has to offer. I currently have a set of grease pencil brushes that I have on my gumroad down below. Don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel, it helps me out a lot, and I hope you have a nice day. Mm -hmm.